today we are ready to explore another area of Como. We walk along the Como Lakeside Promenade to see the panoramic pier that goes inside the lake and we go to the Volta Museum and the amazing little beach at the back of the museum. Welcome to Cretilare! Like and subscribe! Okay, good! Let's go! Try again. Gabriel, say hi! Hi! Hi everybody! Where are we? We are in Como, Lake Como. Wow, let's go to explore! Are you ready? Today is a Saturday. It's still winter, but in a few days it will be spring. So you see how many people there are. Gabriel, do you remember when we came in February? How was it? Was it so full? No, it was empty. No one, no people. Now it's very full. Yeah, it's very full. And have you seen the long line for the funicular to Brunate? Yes, very long. <laughs> it was better, maybe when it was less crowd. Exactly. Okay, let's go to the bar. Along the lake side, on the side of the Volta Museum. Because you see, on that side there is the Imbarcadero. Instead, we walk along this promenade and we'll go to that pier that goes inside the lake. So let's go together to see it. Now the sun is shining. So it is good to walk, explore Como, maybe later. Looking for an ice cream. Maybe later. So now we go along this pier, maybe later in the evening, we can go to visit the museum. So I'll show you. See the promenade continues and Gabriel, do you see that building? Yes. Ecco, that is the Volta Museum. Volta Museum. It's a very important museum to visit. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Maybe later I'll bring you there. Okay. Perfect. Are you happy? Yes. Okay. Hi, Gabriel. Can you see in front of us also the funicular? Yes. From here you can see very well the funicular that uh, from Como Lakeside goes up, up to Brunate. Eh? Brunate. And in front of us, the funicular. Huh? Very beautiful place. Very beautiful place. We did it also by night and uh, we like it. On our right, we have a Como city center, and on our left, we have Lake Como, and uh, we can take the boat here, at the, the boat that, that is called Battello, and uh, go to other towns, and we can also explore other beautiful towns. 
Yeah. But maybe this is another adventure because today there is a crowd of people. <laughs> so long line for everything. But strangely, not for the museum. Anyway, it is beautiful and relaxing. Just walk and admire the view, the panorama. Are you? Oh, you are relaxing. The battello that is called Alessandro Manzoni. Fair boat. Uh -huh, this is a boat, a battello. And I remind you that Alessandro Manzoni, it is a very famous writer who wrote I Promessi Sposi. I Promessi Sposi is a story that takes place here in Lake Como. So that's why the boat takes his name. From here we can see better that building that is the Volta Museum. And in the meantime we can see Como City Center. Gabriel, yes. do you see that there are also benches all around and so you can sit, relax and enjoy Little benches. Yeah, the view. Gabriel, where are we? We are close to Volta Museum in Como. That is the museum. And here you can see that it is in Lungo Lago Mafalda di Savoia. So this is the name of the place. You see, there are people all around. Enjoy. The promenade, the lake, and among those there is also Gabriel. <laughs> Let's go and see. There are the swans. Oh. Ooh, a lot of swans.
This little beach is just back to the Volta Museum. But before entering for the visit, we have to make Gabriel happy. And ice cream. Is it good? Very good. Stuck in cheesecake. Stuck in cheesecake. Tempio Voltiano. Volta's Temple. Gabriel, are you ready to visit the museum? Yes, sure. So, let's go. Let's go. Tempio Voltiano. The building was unveiled in 1927 during the celebration for the first century of the death of Alessandro Volta, a distinguished physics and inventor of the electric battery. Why is Alessandro Volta so important? Alessandro Volta is so important because in 1799 developed the first electric battery. This battery, known as the voltaic cell, consisted of two plates of different metals immersed in a chemical solution. At the upper floor, you can know better Alessandro Volta's life and family and other important historical events connected to his life. So you can get more information downstairs instead. You can know better his work and see original tools that he used. The most important is the original battery that he invented. A curiosity is that Alessandro Volta and the Volta Temple were depicted on the 10,000 lire before the euro began to be used. Hi, this is the original battery. Wow. Did you like the exposition? The temple of Alessandro Volta is wonderful. Uh, exaggerate. But uh, I agree, it is very interesting. Yes, very, very interesting. It was a pleasure to stay with you also during this video. Thanks for watching. But it is getting late and it's now the time to say... Please like and subscribe. Bye!